It's interesting that you mention divisions and playoff and playoff changes because I do want to actually talk about that a little bit in regards to baseball. With only three divisional uh, picks and two wild cards per league times two, that's 10 teams out of 30 teams. So about a 33% chance that your team gets into the playoffs, unless you're the Yankees, in which it's a lot more because of how good they've been over the last 20 so years. By comparison, football is roughly half, uh, basketball is roughly half, hockey just about the same thing. Soccer, I don't know how they go, but it's certainly a lot more than baseball, I'd imagine. And so with the talk about adding teams, like say Montreal and Portland, Oregon, that you may see the move to a four-division format, which I say is correct, but how they put it is not how I see it happen. The most common idea for a four-division format would be to abolish the American League and National League altogether and have it be one major league, and then group the teams into East, Central, West, and North. Now this has some merits, but it also has a lot of problems with it. First of all, you will have your detractors saying that you shouldn't have the DH on National League teams, but more importantly, it would upend years, decades, even a century of rivalries, depending on the team, and group teams that shouldn't really be grouped together. For example, in these formats, the Braves and the Mets are usually not in the same division. The Mets are in the East or North division, and the Braves are in the East or Central divisions. And considering the great rivalries of the 90s and 2000s between those teams, I don't see it that way happening. More importantly, the Mets would be grouped with the Yankees and the Red Sox, which do you really want to be a Mets fan and realize you have to now compete with two of the most heavy spending, most successful teams in all of sport? And you see the same situation play out with the other two team towns. Do you really want these teams in cro close proximity to be constantly playing against each other like it's the Dodgers and the Giants in New York and have to try to outspend each other plus others in the league? It's for these reasons that I have a different idea of how this will play out. That is to keep the two leagues intact, move to a four division format, and then ultimately have four wild card spots. The idea being that each division faces a wild card in a best of three, and then it moves into the traditional best of five, best of seven World Series. In this four division format, you'd basically have the four cardinal directions, a north, south, east, and west. And you would group teams into the 14 division that way. The one hang up in this is the north and south, or north and central divisions, Kind of a little murky based on placements, especially in the National League where you'd have to probably break up either the Cardinals or the Reds' long-standing rivalries and put them in divisions outside of their traditional Central or West opponents. It's for that reason why I don't think that there will be a radical change with a 32-team format. When we get to 34 teams, I would probably say we'd have some radical realignment. As for when that eventuality happens, we'll just have to see, just like how this channel has grown in the last year. And until next time, I'll see you then.